Until now, the placenta has filtered out the fetus's waste. Now, the kidneys are functioning. The embryos are excreting urine into the amniotic fluid to protect their delicate developing eyes. The lids are fused shut. While this feature is common to both wolf and dog, there's one part of the dog's anatomy that varies more than any other, the ears. With a month to go, the ears are well-defined on all the fetuses. The inner ear has already formed, but the middle and external ear are still growing. Domestication has made dog ears droop or even hang down completely. It's a phenomenon biologists call neoteny. When adults retain infant-like characteristics. In some ways, dogs never grow up. They remain almost puppy-like floppy ears, and wagging tails. This is partly due to early man choosing juvenile behavior, such as sociability and submissiveness, the byproduct being the retention of these other juvenile characteristics. Yet not all breeds are floppy ear. In some cases, Man has actually recreated the wolf's stand-up ears, and sometimes purely for aesthetics, as in the Chihuahua. The dog's bark is another juvenile trait. Wolves rarely bark as adults. Instead, they howl to mark out their territory and rev up the pack for the hunt, something the domestic dog doesn't need to do. In certain breeds, the bark has been actively selected for, as in the case of guard dogs. Despite the effects of domestication, one wild aspect the dog has retained is its incredible sense of smell. Like wolves, smell is a way of marking out territories and identifying members of the pack. For such an important organ, the snout develops relatively late, at about two-thirds of the way through gestation. Scientists studying a genetic phenomenon called tandem repeats may have discovered why the length of the snout, among other features, differs so much between breeds. All variations in species are caused by mutations occurring randomly in their genes over vast amounts of time. Tandem repeat mutations are 100,000 times more frequent than normal mutations. They can bring about physical changes more quickly. Tandem repeats are repeated DNA sequences, essentially genetic stutters produced when DNA is copied. They are particularly common in dogs and may be one reason why dogs have evolved so quickly. Witness evolution in action. Over the last 100 years, tandem repeats in a gene controlling bone development have caused the bull terrier's skull to point ever more downward. The size of a wolf or dog's snout is not the key to their extraordinary sense of smell. It's what's inside. Bony scroll-shaped plates fill the nasal cavity. An endoscopic camera shows a thick, spongy, folded membrane packed with scent-detecting cells, all connected to the nerves that send scent information to the brain. In humans, the area of this membrane is about the size of a postage stamp, but in a dog, 
it can be 60 times as big. With a paltry 5 million scent detecting cells, humans can detect the aromas of a stew cooking on a stove. But a dog with 200 million can smell each individual ingredient. The smell is also crucial for identifying other dogs. By sniffing glands near the anus, they'll know which dog has marked which territory. This incredible sense of smell has been employed to great use, like using dogs to smell through concrete for dead bodies. They've even been used by doctors to identify human bladder and skin cancers.